Hello, it is I and her. It is we. I'm Hollies. And I'm Evelyn from the internet. And you are tuned into the 4C Hair Chick Q&A show with Hollies. And Evelyn from the internet. Oh my God. It's our last episode, y'all. You're gonna miss us. So much. Like a lot. So much. It's sad. Don't lie. We're really sad. Are we though? No, we are. <laughs> um, so in this episode, we are going to answer your question that we received over on the 4C Hair Chick Facebook page. FB. Um, a common question was, is it better to do Bantu knots and to do the following Bantu knot out on wet hair or dry hair? And we did the research, we did the work, obviously, and um, we will share our results with you. So over the course of a week, Evelyn and I each did the following. We did Bantu knots on dry hair, and then we did Bantu knots on wet hair. We just effed up our whole regimen. <laughs> right? Just for y'all. Just for y'all. <laughs> we didn't plan on doing none of this. Yeah. You asked the questions, so we did the research. So we're gonna cut to Evelyn and check out her wet and dry Bantu knot out. Go! Time for a voiceover, because my bathroom sounds like this. So I'm starting out with an old dry twist out, and I divide my hair into sections like I do for everything, and I have a review on Oyen Handmade Boing on 4chick.com. So check it out. I apply it to my hair, finger detangle, two strand twist, and bantu knot that twist, and I have maybe 12 of them in my head. The next morning, I unravel them and I fluff them out, and the results, my hair is completely dry, awesome definition, not that much frizz, and shrinkage because it is the nature of a Bantu knot out. Successful. What up? My hair is wet, so I take my leave-in conditioner and my style of choice, and I two-strand twist my damp, clean hair. Then I Bantu knot my hair, maybe 15 to 20 Bantu knots, and I pray to the most high that my hair will be dry by the time I take these down. Really not loving this grandma fro that I have going on. Um, the definition is minimal. My hair is not that defined at all and my hair is still damp at the roots. So I just slapped on a headband and called it a day. I do not like doing Bantu knots on wet, clean hair at all unsuccessful so that was my bantu not out situation both on dry hair and wet hair and now we're going to see how Halise achieved that look at this what is this <laughs> she'll tell you all right guys so i've just gotten out of the shower my hair is nice and clean i'm going to use my diy leave-in spray um check out that video and the my honey child type 4 hair cream to set my bantu twists. I spray the leave-in spray pretty generously, about two sprays on each side, and rub it in. Check out this leave-in spray action. Look at those curls, look at them. Bam. Then I put a dollop of the My Honey Child into my hair and work it from the bottom to the top. Start it from the bottom, now we're here. Twist it up nicely, and then bantu knot it. I have about 20 to 22 bantu knots along my entire head. At 5 o'clock p.m. I wanted to check in and show y'all that my Bantu knots are still not dry. I put them in at 8 a.m. that morning so it, they aren't even close to being dry yet. The next morning 24 hours later they are finally completely dry. I pull them apart carefully and they have a pretty decent defined curl pattern. And then I begin to take them apart and separate the sections even more to achieve the desired fullness, fluff, and look. Um, wet Bantu knots for me tend to come out a little too separated, 
I like my hair to look more fluffy than what it is right now. So, that being said, here's my dry bantu knot out. I use the Ayu Natural line to achieve this look and the My Honey Child to seal it in. Um, taking them apart, my hair feels a lot softer and a lot more fluffier and a lot more fuller. I like there to be just a little bit of, um, of frizz just to fill it out and just have it look a little bit more fun and a little less defined, if you will. So that was my experience with the Bantu Knots. And right now we are both rocking our dry Bantu Knot outs, as you can tell. Loving it, loving it. Feeling good, feeling right. Feeling great. So now we must discuss. Yes. As y'all can see guys, with my wet Bantu Knot out, it literally took 24 hours of me doing it and then coming back and looking at it again to see them completely dry. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't have time for that. Um, I'm not one of those people that just feel like they can just rock Bantu knots, you know, just put on some wood earrings and like a whole bunch of wood bangles. And India, like, are we? India, you know what I'm saying, Badu-isms. I'm not that person. So I ended up having to use a head wrap, which is fine, because it was the week and I work from home. But some of y'all, you know, some of y'all got that nine to five just to stay alive and you've got to go to an office. Mm -hmm. So, Wearing a head wrap might not be seen as that professional. So I would recommend just going with the dry bantu knot. I mean, it pretty much came out the same. Mm -hmm. um, it still looks light and fluffy and fun. Fluff it, fluff your fro. Yes, yes. <laughs> Evelyn, what do you think? I think the exact same thing. Who, who has time for the uncertainty you know what I'm saying? The doubt, doubt that clouds your mind, you know, when you go to bed with wet hair and you just wake up and you just don't know because there is no worse feeling than spending however long you spent to do your hair the night before. Then you go to bed, you know what I'm saying? Then you wake up renewed and refreshed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And then you take down the style. Uh, uh, is it? Is it? It's damp. <laughs> and then your whole day is just like, Starting off on a bad foot, man. Yeah, so I don't bad foot. I don't suggest doing wet styles in general. You know what I'm saying? Unless you know your hair is going to be dry the next morning. Unless you're about that dryer life. Like if it's, you've got a dryer and you know you can just do it and then sit under the dryer for like two hours and like but, you know. But that ain't nice. But, <laughs> but we will say that it is important that the product that you use to twist your hair, the custard, the cream, the butter, the gel, whatever, whatever, that it should contain water. If you just use a product that doesn't have any water, um, the style will probably only last for, at most, a couple hours, most likely. Because now you've just really just stretched your hair. The water is what helps it maintain this faux curl pattern that you are insinuating that your hair has. So that's it <laughs> for our fourth and final episode that we know of. Because, I mean, if you want us back, we might could come back. We might could, actually. We might could. So yeah. in the comments below, we want to know a couple things. Number one, what was your favorite episode from our Forcey Hair Chick Q&A show with Elise and Evelyn? And number two, we'd like to know, do you want us back? You know what I'm saying? Like, should we keep doing this? Should this be a thing? Number three, we would like to know whether you prefer doing Bantu knot outs on dry hair or on wet hair. You can share your experiences, your routine, your favorite products. Just let us know and we will talk. So until next time, maybe. Kinda, sorta, it could happen, it might not. Uh, we will see you on the internet somewhere. Yeah, bye. Don't forget to head over to 4chick.com for all the products used in this episode. <laughs> Your hair is fluffier than mine! <laughs> I want fluffy hair! We're still rolling. Oh. Oh. <laughs>